okay, well, this is something that actually hits close to home uh, for both of us. Uh, and I didn't realize it until I was going through my notes this morning was that uh, you actually introduced me to Tax Tone. I saw Tax Tone, I think, on The Breakfast Club or or the the MTV show you were doing. I forgot which one it was. But I saw him on there and I'm like, oh, this dude is dope. And I think I'd reach out to you and you connected us. And Tax became a regular guest on Vlad TV. In fact, he did his last interview before he got locked up on Vlad TV, which was an interview I never put out because I was worried that something that he may have said could somehow influence his, his case. And, you know, after six years of sitting in jail, he went to trial and he blew trial. Um, he was found guilty on a bunch of charges. Uh, luckily, not the murder charge, but there was a bunch of manslaughter and so forth, uh, gun charges, and now he's facing 25 years. Uh, when you heard the news, what did you think? Same thing I thought from the day I heard about this, you know, six years ago. It's just tragic. You know, you got a, a life loss, you know, rest in peace to the to the brother Banger. You got, you know, Tax Stone in jail. Now it's not just Tax Stone in jail. Tax Stone, you know, uh, was found guilty on a bunch of charges. You know, Troy Ave, I'm sure he's gone through trauma that, that, that none of us can even speak to, because I think a lot of people will even forget, you know, it wasn't that, just that situation. You know, Troy got shot again, you know, during this whole process. So I can just imagine, you know, the trauma that he's dealing with too. So man, it's just like a, a, a terrible, tragic situation all the way around. And I mean, everybody in hindsight can say, oh man, you know, I wish this would have happened and I wish that would have happened, but you know, what happened, happened. And you know, there, there's, there, there's no change in the situation. And that's, that's, that's tragic. Cause you know, all you think to yourself is, why did all of this happen? Like, I feel like this was one of those situations that was totally, totally, totally preventable. And um, I wish in hip hop that we took things a lot more serious because, you know, there is a lot of conversations that happen, right? Every day you can go online and see some new social media beef happening. You know, this person said this about that person or that person said this. And like, you know, nobody ever takes any of these situations serious until serious shit happens. And this was a beyond serious situation because somebody, you know, literally lost their life. And then I, I, I still don't know, you know, what happened. I don't I don't I don't want to know. I know everything that everybody else knows. The, the things that I know are the things that. You know, people saw play out in the courtroom or the same things y'all have heard are the same things that I've heard. I don't have any inside information on the situation. I just know that from the outside looking in, it's just tragic. 